And so the Google Chromecast has officially been released in Ireland almost a year after it was released in the US and five months after in the UK. So to say that we're a little bit delayed is a bit of an understatement. But here we have what is essentially what turns a regular HDTV into a basic smart TV. Now it's retailing at the moment for 40 euro. So what you see on the screen is basically that. It's essentially a conduit for YouTube, Netflix and a host of other apps. So why don't we have a look now at what we can stream. So how does the Chromecast actually operate? Well here we have the Chromecast app which is downloaded through the Google Play Store, free. And once you go into here, you'll see that my Chromecast, column Chromecast, says it's ready to cast. Now beforehand there's a, a minor amount of setting up um, which shouldn't take too long. It's essentially you're entering your Wi-Fi password to connect to it. So what are the type of apps that you're going to be working from? Well, the two main ones which I think is going to be used for most people are YouTube and Netflix. So essentially it'll take the smaller screen you have here and then throw it straight up onto, onto the TV screen. Now what's different between many of the other types of devices on the market, like the Apple TV or the Roku streaming device, is that none of the apps are actually hosted natively on the device itself. So it's, this is more so just a conduit for, for the likes of Netflix and YouTube. So let's say we want to watch Netflix. We go into the Netflix app and you'll see here, this is the little icon that indicates how the Chromecast works. So simply by tapping that, play on column Chromecast, and on the screen you'll see, you'll see the Netflix loading up. Just like that you're connected. So then all it's a case of is once that's loaded up onto the grey screen, you can just click play, play again, and it'll start loading up. Now here we have. The, the one thing I've found so far is that once it connects to Chromecast, there's a maybe a 10 second delay. <laughs> there we have it. There's a 10 second delay where you can see here that the quality is not so great. But once it gets, you know, 10, 15 seconds, it will kick in. And so once Netflix is on the TV, you can simply control it through your phone. Like your phone acts as the remote control. So just probably press and play again. It'll continue. And it's simply a case of stop and play. And if you want, and then once you tap the, the loading bar again, you can scroll forward, back, pause, stop, everything you need. If you want to watch something on YouTube, which is obviously Google owned and is, is set up on it, it's the same again. You just tap column Chromecast. It'll load up again. And you'll see on screen the YouTube screen loading up. Um, and once again, it's, it's very simple to watch a video. So if you go back to your main screen, it'll, that's just telling you how it works. Um, you can, like you would any YouTube video, Vice News, click Sometimes and click play. Are full of surprises. And, there we, and there we go, it'll, it'll load up and within seconds it's up on screen. So I mean, it's not just Netflix and YouTube that's on this, but they would arguably be the most used in terms of apps on, um, on the Chromecast. So whereabouts do you try and find um, Google, Google Chromecast apps? Now Google, Google has their own list of apps which are covering some of, the mo um, some of the more basic ones which are really only available in the US, such as Hulu Plus and HBO Go. But there's actually an unofficial app which I found to be the easiest and um, the biggest catalog of apps, which is, which is the uh, Cast Store. Well, no, it's, it's not necessarily a cast store, but it's just a huge, it shows um, each, and every, each and every app that's currently available on the Chromecast and breaks it down into categories. So say here you have apps. You can go by, say, communication, entertainment, finance. It has a whole host. Most of them, to be honest, you're probably not going to use. Now, from what I've found, some of them are not the best. It's still early days. Um, for example, here, I downloaded this, what I was going to show, this SNES emulator. So if essentially you could play Super Mario Kart for on your phone and screen it onto the TV. But it was a lot of problems where it was laggy. It was just, it wasn't fun to play whatsoever. But that's not necessarily Chromecast's fault. It's still, like I said, early days. And I don't know whether it still needs some more time to catch up. I mean, if you compare it to, say, Apple TV or the Roku streaming, um, it's not fully established yet. Now the interesting thing is that only recently um, Google announced that from KitKat and up in terms of operating systems, you can now stream from your, what's on your screen directly onto the, onto the TV screen, which is simply done through by clicking the Chromecast button, again through the side menu, and cast screen. 
And again, like you've shown on YouTube and Netflix, it's just simply connect to device. And on screen, it'll pop up showing exactly what's there. And so now, what I've found is actually it's, it's seamless. There doesn't seem to be really any issues with, um, with delay, especially for any kind of videos or what you want to show. Because there's still, like say for example here, or to ePlayer, I can now, by turning the screen on the side, I can now stream or to ePlayer, which is a great bonus, at least in the, in the meantime, given that the RT player hasn't implemented any uh, Chromecast functionality. So it's, it's, to be honest, it's only a matter of time, I think, before a T player kick, brings that in, but this is a good stopgap in the meantime. So who's the Chromecast actually aimed at? For 40 euro, it's pretty affordable in, compared with, say, the likes of Apple TV, which is gonna be 100 euro plus. This Chromecast, as it doesn't have any native apps, is really more of a, um, a way of throwing something like Netflix or YouTube, or like I said, there's, some, there's hundreds of different apps onto the TV screen. Now, with the Roku streaming stick uh, recently um, released online for the, about the price of £50 or about 60 something euro, uh, it's really facing competition now in terms of size. So whether the Chromecast is for you if you're, if you're a heavy user of, say, TV channels and you want to get access to 4OD for Channel 4 in the UK, or other kind of TV sites like that, uh, the Roku strip would definitely be more of a favorable option. But in the meantime, if you're just looking to turn your basic HD TV into a basic smart TV, then the Chromecast is definitely worth it.